Hello viewers and welcome to the lesson Probability KCC 2017 paper 2 question number 14. A committee of three people was chosen at random from a group of five men and six women. Find the probability that the committee consisted of more men than women. So that is a question. Now in order to work out this question easily, we are required to construct a tree diagram which will be very useful in solving the question. Now we're going to construct a tree diagram with three branches. Since uh, you can see there are three people that are being chosen. So the first choice a branch, the second choice a branch, the third choice a branch. So you shall have three branches. Then it is good to note the total number of uh, people. We have uh, five men. So we have five men and six women. So the total number of people is 11. Now I've already drawn the tree diagram here. Uh, just uh, feeding in the probabilities. So this is the first choice. The first choice represented by the first branch. The second, this is the first choice. Then the second branch represents the second choice. And this one is the third choice. Since there are three people that are being chosen, so you require to have three branches the way I have drawn it. Now, the first one, uh, the probability of choosing a man, men, there are five men and uh, six women. Probability of choosing a man is five out of the total. So this will be five divided by 11. Automatically, the women will be six out of 11. Remember that the total probability in every branch, in every single branch like this one, eh? 5 uh, divided by 11 plus 6 divided by 11 should be equal to 1 in each branch. The other one, that is the first uh, choice. The second choice, um, you already know the probability of picking a, a man. So the second time you're choosing a man, men are going to reduce from 5 to 4. Then the total will reduce from 10, uh, from 11 to 10 automatically the other one in order to have a total of 10 will be 6 over 10. Now let's go to the second one this one for women the branch for women. Men are still from the first branch they're still five but the total has changed since this one is the second choice is 10. So this one will be now look at this the first choice you choose a woman, there were six, so the, the second time you're choosing, there will be five, less by one, five, total again will be ten. Let's go to the third choice. Third choice, look at this, the first choice was five men, then the second choice is reduced by one, so again the third one is going to less one, so from four to three, and then the total will be nine, not ten. Automatically, this one will be six over nine in order to make this branch to be equal to one uh, for men uh, from the second choice men are still four this is a branch where you are choosing a woman we're not choosing a man so this will be four over nine then for women in this branch the second do a six choose another woman from six you're going to less one reduce by one so it'll be five divided by nine total again will change we go to the other one. Now uh, this one, you're choosing another man. Men from the second branch here, there are five. So they're going to reduce when you choose another man. There will be four from five to four. Then total will be nine. Automatically, this one will be five over nine for the women. Then look at this for women. The first choice, there was six. Then you go, went to the second choice, reduced by one. So from 6 to 5, then the third choice again from 5 reduced by 1, this one will be 4 divided by 9. Automatically this one becomes 5 over 9. Now that is uh, how you're supposed to use the tree diagram. Now the next thing you're going to do is now to note this, this is uh, the first uh, choice will be man, man. This is man, man, the probability of choosing three men. This one, man, man, woman, man, man, woman. Then this one, 
Mann, Woman, Mann, Woman, Mann, this is branch here, Mann, Woman, this is Mann, Woman, Woman, then this one is a, a woman, man, man. This one will be woman, man, woman. Then this one will be woman, woman, man. Then the last one, three women. Now having that, we can go to the question. And we are supposed to find the probability that the committee consisted of more men than women. More men than women. So from these uh, probabilities here, we need to check where do we have more men than women? Where do we have more men than women? Now the first one is uh, out, since that only have three men, so we have nothing to compare. We need uh, a situation where there is a man and a woman, and where men are more than women. Now in this case, they are all men so that one we don't have women to compare with that one is out now we need like this one the second one you can see here there are two men and one woman so you can see automatically there we have more men than women than women then uh, the other one is uh, man woman man so men are two there there are more man woman this one is out uh, woman man man this one is okay there are two men men are more than women then this one is uh, out women are two again here women are two women are two so these are the three scenarios that we need these are the three that we need we need these three so we need to pick the first one man man so the probability will therefore be given by this probability the probability will be given by probability of man man woman man man woman or probability of the second one is a man woman man man woman man or the probability of woman man man woman man man so these are the three probabilities now the first one, you pick the first one, man, man, woman. Man, man, woman will be 5 over 10 multiplied by 4 over 10. 5 over 11, the first one, 5 over 11 multiplied by 4 over 10. 5 over 11 multiplied by 4 over 10. Then multiply by, by 6 over 9. 6 over 9. Or in probability means addition. So the other one is man, woman, man, man, woman, man. The second one, this is uh, the 5 over 11 times 6 over 10. Times 6 over 10 times mm, this one times 4 over 9. Or the last one, woman, man, man. Woman, man, man is here. 6 over 11 times 5 over 10. 6 over 11 times 5 over 10 times um, 4 over 9. So that is what should give you the solution. Now let us multiply them, work them out using a calculator. Um, when you look at these, they are all similar. Look at the numerators, 5, 4, 6, 5, 6, 4, 5. So all the numerators are the same. It's only the order of multiplication which will not give a different answer. The denominators again are the same. 11, 10, 9, 11, 10, 9, 11, 10, 9. So you can see the numerators are the same for the 3. Then the denominators are the same. So when you multiply the numerators, you get the same answer. So we need, just need to multiply 1 and simplify, and that will give us, then you add 3. So 5 over 11, use the, I'll use a calculator to simplify these. Mm, 5 over 11, multiply by 4 over 10, multiply by 6 over 9 in simplest form. This will give 4 divided by 
33. And since this is the same thing, the numerator is the same, this will give again 4 divided by 33. This one will give 4 divided by 33. When you add these, you get uh, 12 over 33. Simplifying this one, you get uh, by 4, by 3, 4, by 3, 11. So you get 4 divided by 11. And that is the probability that the number of men will be more than women. That is how I suppose solve that question. Thank you.